Hi, I'm Dennis Bakkenstead, the Finance Director for the City of Iowa City, and I'm here today to talk about the local option sales tax referendum that will appear on the November 4th general election ballot. Uh, the local option sales tax referendum is a 1% uh, local option sales tax that will appear on the ballots across the county. Um, for the sales tax to be approved within the city, it'll have to be approved by all of the contiguous jurisdictions, including Tiffin, North Liberty, uh, Iowa City, Corville, and University Heights. The current proposed uses for that uh, sales tax, uh, each jurisdiction proposes their own uses to be used within their communities, even though it's adopted as a block um, with a majority vote. The, the current proposed uses for the city are 50% for street improvements and trail improvements, 40% for property tax relief, and 10% for affordable housing opportunities. Here to discuss affordable housing opportunities is Stephen Rackus, the city's uh, housing administrator. With the uh, proposal that um, City Council considered for the uh, um, sales tax proposal, uh, staff proposed that uh, for rental um, programs that we would target families at 80% or below the median income. This is uh, very consistent with the rental assistance programs that the city already operates or the um, home and community development block grant funds that are used to develop uh, affordable rental. What we find is primarily uh, elderly families, which uh, we define as 62 and older, uh, disabled families where the head of household or spouse or maybe two adults living together where one of them is considered disabled. And then the third category would be working families. And I, I think that's you know where there's really the need uh, for the affordable housing is for these working families. We can use um, uh, the 2007 affordable housing analysis that um, the City Council commissioned in 2007. And in that analysis, it was not just the city of Iowa City. Uh, that analysis uh, covered all of Johnson County and really was looking at what were the needs for affordable housing in the community. And one of the things that uh, that survey revealed was that based on the, the supply of affordable housing and the need for affordable housing that by 2012 uh, there needed to be approximately 2,800 affordable housing units uh, created in order to meet that unmet need. Um, we're here in you know 2014 and I can tell you that only 156 affordable housing units have been developed since uh, 2007. Also here to discuss affordable housing opportunities is Tracy Achenbach from the Housing Trust Fund of Johnson County. There's a, um, a tendency for the rural counties to lose population and the metro counties are gaining population and that's certainly the case for Johnson County as well. So with that, we also have more pressure for housing. So what is happening is um, we are needing more and more housing and land is more expensive. It's more difficult to build affordable housing. So it has gotten more, to be more intense over the last several years for this area. Some of the affordable housing um, developers in Johnson County, the Housing Fellowship, um, Habitat for Humanity is another one. Shelter House has put up some um, transitional housing lodges. Um, those create then housing opportunities for people who have lower income so that it lessens the amount that they would have to pay. For instance, the Housing Fellowship, if they have federal or state dollars in a project, they may have to lessen the amount of rent that they can charge people, whereby if that were a market project, they would probably, you know, another individual, a private individual maybe would be able to charge quite a bit more in rent. I think what, um, what it will allow is for people who actually work here, a lot of people who work here will also be able to live here affordably. Um, I think there's a whole range of activities that could happen. Um, it could be anywhere from increasing transitional housing opportunities for people uh, to helping those who maybe need rent assistance or maybe down payment assistance to purchase a house because that's another area that it's become more and more difficult for people to be able to be a homeowner in Johnson County as well. 
For more information about the city's local option sales tax referendum on November 4th, you can visit the city's website at www.icgov.org.